All right, uh, so I want to um, see how accurate this thing is. Um, there is a calibration tag on the, on the top here. <laughs> Can you read that? Uh, it says uh, it's due 4-9-1980. Uh, so I think it's a bit out of cal, but let's see. We'll give it a try. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. So we want to test its accuracy. And bridges all come down to whether the uh, resistors are good in this thing or not, how, how much money they spent on those resistors. So, so let's introduce a, a, an accurate resistor. So this thing's good to 0.01, uh, 0.05%, um, 0.05%. That's pretty good. This thing's good to 1%. And so we will set a resistance here and we'll measure it here. So right now I have it set to um, 100 ohms and uh, if you look at the little the little needle here uh, yeah uh, 100 ohms. <laughs> All right let's go to uh, let's see here uh, this won't go high enough we need to go one more come down oh, there we go and we will, I got to reach around the camera to do this. Sorry. So right about there, uh, 110 and we have it to set to 110. Let's go ahead and drop a, drop a zero off of it and see if we can't, can't get it to go to, there we go, 100, 100. So now we're at 1,000 ohms. You see, it's kind of hard to see in the, in the camera here, but that, that, uh, Mixy, not mixy, uh, neon is on, so it's, it's one point something K ohms, right? All right, let's go to uh, 10, 10 K ohms. Uh, we should be able to take this all the way. And get a very accurate reading. This thing should go to one, and then it won't go any farther. So there you go, you can see the things creeping up. And just as we roll over the one, there we go, perfect. <laughs> so this thing is super, super accurate. All right, let's go to uh, the next one. This thing goes to uh, another one here. Uh, let's click the, uh, so now we're at 100 K ohms. That was 10 K ohms. This is 100 K ohms, perfectly, perfectly good. Um, and then we can go to one mega ohm. So we can click it one more time. Yeah, so <laughs> this thing is just spot on, spot, spot, spot on. All right, let's set it to something fun. Let's do uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna have to go out, out of here. Oops, there we go. One, two, three, perfect. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what's, what's a better number? This thing can only go up to one. So let's do, let's do a nine, nine, eight, seven, six. Let's do that. Let's see how, if it knows how to do that. There it goes. And I gotta reach around the camera again. And the zero is about up there, nine, eight, seven. And we can change ranges. Uh, let's see, we can change ranges to here. Oops. Oh, this won't go up to this. Oh, that also as far as it'll go. This only goes zero to one. So this is as big, as good as we can get is uh, nine, nine, nine. It's as accurate, accurate as we can get this thing. So there you go. Uh, thing is spot on for calibration, um, and it is last calibrated in 1979, and it was designed in 1966. <laughs> I'm not sure when this one was built. Um, they did build them for a while. We can uh, do some further tests later. I'll maybe test some capacitance and stuff, and uh, we'll compare it. What I really want to get uh, across is this idea of a bridge um, that bridges are very very valuable we've seen we've seen bridges now in in, in 
uh, LCR bridges like this one and uh, how they're being used in return loss bridges and in some things like uh, vector network analyzers. So yeah, bridges are, bridges are very important. Um, okay.